hey guys welcome back to my channel i'm also going to be looking at the road quite a bit because like yeah i'm going to be crossing the road i don't want to get hit um and before anyone is going to ask me no i'm not wearing a mask because in my area or in my city you don't have to wear the mask if you are out in the public and um i won't be taking ttc or anything i'm just gonna walk for like 20 minutes or so so because of that i don't plan on wearing a mask for the whole 20 minutes that i am walking um yeah it's, i'm not gonna be doing that um i wanted to talk to you guys about how my first semester was and um basically i'm in toronto and i did the veterinary assistance program i'm still doing it by the way um that made it sound like as if i was done i'm not done um so i'm gonna do my second term in january 11 is when um it starts again my second term so i just wanted to kind of talk about my experience because i know a lot of you guys want to know and another thing is i haven't been able to see any videos of people actually um talking about the program uh simply because it's quite strict also the one of the biggest um i don't want to say it's a drawback but one of the thing is and it makes sense uh it makes a lot of sense actually we're not actually allowed to film in the are we nothing outside so like you can't take pictures of the farm or anything wait a minute my backpack's annoying me and um you for obvious reasons can't take pictures of the animals now initially i was kind of sad about it but then it makes it makes a lot of sense guys um the reason why we can't take pictures of it because imagine there's like i'm just gonna put a number out there there's like 300 students tax assistances that are trying to get whatever it is that they are aiming for and then all of them are trying to take pictures of a rabbit like it's just not really productive someone was actually lifting tires so i didn't want to be that annoying person with a camera in my hand so i had to put it down my first um semester was kind of interesting i will be honest i don't think and I d i'm not holding grudges but i do think that most of my teachers did not know how to use we use blackboard some people use module i remember i used something similar when i was at york university but um we use blackboard now so i don't know if that's different i think everyone in seneca uses blackboard yeah it should be that so we get to see a lot of stuff on blackboard so whenever my teacher puts an announcement or everything you could there's like an activity section where you could see it i will be honest i don't think most of my teachers knew how to use blackboard to its fullest potential but to be honest i'm not holding grudges because it kind of makes sense i mean this whole situation was not supposed to happen and then all of a sudden i can't expect you know all my teachers to know everything there were a few things i wish they did differently but then that's just my personal opinion now as for my grades i think my gpa is still a four i have to double check that one but then i'll have my grades and my classes over here somewhere i don't mind sharing my classes basically i have an a in everything and in one of my courses i have an a plus now i the hope was i was gonna have two a pluses i know someone's gonna watch this be like girl you got an a just whatever right wasn't the a not enough for you but one of my courses it's my fault you know essentially what had happened is i got confused with the date and i missed the test it wasn't even a quiz i missed an actual test and it was like 7.5 marks now i have been up to date with everything i put everything on google um my google calendar but then it's kind of bad because i know some students um would miss these quizzes by the way we would have frequent quizzes for one of my teacher who i had classes with her for three of my courses so every day so pretty much every week i would have a quiz with her so it was quite literally Monday, Tuesday, no, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday with her, I would have quizzes. And it doesn't bother me. They were like simple questions, like five questions, and then you get a mark. Um, it wasn't really anything difficult, to be honest. But yeah, every day I had something to do. I don't know if, like I said, because this is a situation where 
I don't want to say the word. YouTube's annoying. It's going to demonetize me. Um, but basically, because of the situation we're in, um, I don't know if that's the reason why I did it. So for students who are interested for next term, I don't know if it's going to be any different. To be honest, I think it will be different. I'm not going to lie. Some of my classes I did. Okay, I'm going to be honest. It wasn't that interesting. Some lectures, for instance, if I liked the class, some of the lectures would be super interesting. And then the other lectures would be like, meh. But, but I would have to watch all of them because then I think like the thing with my teachers is they definitely would ask from the lectures that were not so interesting so I would still have to take notes which is an itch issue on its own taking notes was I personally would say was a bit tedious to be honest um, I took a lot of notes um, I also got an um, iPad Pro this was not related to my courses I was interested in digital art so I had an iPad Pro um, and I would pretty much use like when it comes to my study uh, study times I would actually use it like a whiteboard so I'll just go to good notes open like a black blank canvas and then just write notes now I do want to talk a little bit about my labs which was on Thursdays um, so yeah just give me a minute cuz I have to cross the road so Thursdays was when I had to do my labs Basically, the way it works, this is going to kind of get confusing. I'm going to try my best not to make it confusing, but essentially what it was, my lab was kind of two courses. So, in total, I had seven courses. Again, like I said, I already gave you the names of all my courses and my grades for it. But um, the way my lab worked is that my Thursday courses with the lecture portion and then on Thursdays I would actually go to class and my teachers would be different I'm not gonna name any of my teachers for obvious privacy reasons I'm sure that would be kind of weird if someone finds out that I do YouTube and yeah but I think some, one of my friends actually found out um, she actually found out on TikTok I don't know how that's like kind of weird but like she found me out on TikTok which is interesting I maybe TikTok settings is different but anyway I don't know I didn't tell people I did YouTube to be honest uh, if they find out whatever but I probably won't be sharing that information with everyone not that it's anything I'm I'm keeping it a secret most of my friends know but then if they stumble upon it like my school friends fair enough but then I don't think that I'd be sharing it with them I don't know I kind of feel weird the more people know the more it becomes I feel like the more censored I am and then I get shy explaining stuff to you guys but anyway back to courses I, I don't want to get too sidetracked um, basically third, uh, Wednesdays would have the lectures and then Thursdays um, would go to a lab here here this thing annoys me here's why it has nothing to do with the lectures but essentially what was supposed to happen is that I take one bus and then I go to York University with that bus. In York University, I take the shuttle bus. You don't pay for the shuttle bus. You just show your student card. And then that would pretty much take me to King Campus, which is the health center, animal health center, right? That's only $3 going there and then $3 coming back, which is not bad at all. Now, <laughs> wait for it. Because of the situation we are in right now, they decided to not use the shuttle buses because technically it's not public transportation. Shuttle buses is something that's very unique, I think, to just York. So because of that, they canceled it. And I think also because not everyone is going to be on campus anyway, so they're like, not many people are going to use the shuttle buses. So I think that is a, that is also a reason why they did it. But because of that, I had to do Uber. I'll tell you why. For me to get there, just getting there would take me two and a half hours with TTC and then coming back would take another two and a half hour. My course on the other hand was only one and a half hour. It would kind of make sense if my course was like a couple hours, you know, or if it was like a full day, but just for one and a half hour course, I did not want to. Yeah, I wasn't going to do that. But then the issue is me going there, just going there is now costing me $40. And then coming back home is costing me another $40. So in a day, just one of my Thursday classes is costing me $80. Now do the math, do it monthly. That's a bit a lot. Now next term I'm doing it three times a week. 
I have to figure out a situation that's gonna work best for me but yeah that's that um but basically this is my just experience doing online classes it, it has been difficult um at certain points i think my finals kind of stressed me out a bit because they were a bit difficult um one of my finals my teacher said 60 minutes 60 questions i genuinely freaked out but then the thing was it was actually rather easy i finished the question I finished my final in 30 minutes and I went over it like five times because I was kind of like, wait, why did it finish so early? Um, but yeah, I did really well, I think. It went really well. I did get my supplies for next term. I'm going to talk about it a bit more in another video, what supplies I use because like next term I have to be on campus more and then on top of that I'm actually going to be working with animals so this time I didn't work with animals my lab I did like more like fecal floats how to uh, use like a centrifuge and stuff but yeah like a microchip we had to do like blood smears oh my god it was <laughs> I had a bit of an issue so on my final my blood smear when I was doing staining because I didn't wait long enough for it to dry one at the end you're supposed to clean it with distilled water <laughs> my blood smear just completely <laughs> broke apart which was so stressful because i only had 15 minutes to do another blood smear but then take this i had to still wait for the blood to dry for like another 10 minutes so technically i only had five minutes and then i stained it and it worked out really well actually my blood smear um the second time around i did it i personally think i did it a lot better than my first blood smear and <laughs> For the first blood smear, I took like half an hour. It's just really hard, especially if you don't have a lot of practice with the blood smears. I thought I'd be good at it, but boy, was I wrong. Um, it's a bit, it's a bit, I would say it's a bit challenging, but not too challenging, but like to get a good one. Like you could still do one, but like to get a good one, it's a bit more my hands are cold it's a bit more difficult so anyway that's my lab my lab i i did a lot i really genuinely liked my teacher i'm not gonna give her name for privacy reasons obviously i don't think that they would want their names out in the public um so anyway i really liked her she's really really nice um i made a lot of friends um so yeah i'm gonna talk about the supplies i'm gonna use for next term so most of the uh, stuff i'm gonna use i'll probably do a video and yeah the one thing i think was only different is that for um most students don't need it but for me i need lab coat i have my lab coat by the way but then i think when you're a student some programs don't request that you need a lab coat whereas in my school i do need a lab coat and i also need um the scrubs we use are colored like there's a certain color and you have to wear that color so mine is black um I think there's also blue, like a navy blue, and then a gray, which I'm assuming is for the tech students. But there is that. Um, I'll probably do another video. Overall, I genuinely like the program. I don't know. I know some of them asked me. I don't know if I will do the tech. Um, the reason is because I have never worked with animal in a professional field. So my hope is that I'll probably have a better I idea next term. But then I'm... What I plan on, and I don't know for sure, this might not even work, but maybe it might be better for me to work in the field. Obviously, I'm working on campus, but I think it might be better if I work inside a field or in a field or a, clin a clinic or whatever, and then do the tech program so I have a bit of a better idea of what to expect, but then I don't know. Because like some of my classmates, um, they're working with animals, whereas I haven't, so... I don't know how that's gonna work and also there's the question whether I get accepted in the program or not um, but yeah there's that um, I'll probably do uh, another video there's actually a very good youtuber I like she's starting off new so I'm gonna give her information down below she is doing the veterinary program so basically she is planning to become a vet <laughs> she's not a vet assistant or a tech but she does everything veterinary 
related um so i really like her videos and i know she's just starting off so if a lot of you guys are interested in learning about like the veterinary program i'll have her information down below she seems really nice and a very genuine person so you know please check her out i think i think she'll really enjoy the support that you guys give her so thank you for watching guys bye bye